If you're watching a football video on YouTube, the chances are you've probably already seen this. You've got no friends. If you want some, I'll give it you. That's Gordon Hill, otherwise known as the Wheelstone Raider. And over the last six months, his life has been turned upside down because of that video. Gordon joins us now. Gordon, thanks for doing this. Well done. We've been approached by uh, the management for McBusted. It's happening, isn't it? I never ever thought that I'd be mentioning the same thing. Nothing is normal here. What are we doing next? Busting players? Wilson Raider is coming for you. We've gone from nothing to probably the most famous person in the UK at the moment. He's got it, thanks. You want some? I'll give you yeah. I'm in a step trying to sort of step out and these two beautiful women pulled up in a motor and asked me for a photograph. Wheelstone. 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 Watching this unfold, I couldn't help but become obsessed with the Raider and his story. But whereas most people were focused on a perhaps drunk football fan saying a few funny lines, I was noticing that this was a guy who had travelled two hours away to support his ninth division football side. And so I headed out to a few Wildstone games myself and ended up becoming friends with Gordon. And eventually, he asked me to join him on what must have been one of the weirdest days in his life. I called Gordon in to the boardroom after a game and I said to him, look, people are cashing in on you. Um, there's an opportunity for you to make some money for yourself. He wasn't remotely interested. The first time I didn't want nothing to do with it. And then the vines started off with me. They started appearing, uh, these six second vines, which propelled Gordon to an incredible amount of coverage through YouTube and the national media. The Daily Mirror launched a campaign to get to number one and I heard the tune and the tune was just like, I wanted to just use clips from YouTube sure. and, that, and it was never going to be able to go near the charts. I thought everybody else is making money out of me. Why don't I do some good things? He ended up in front of my management somehow and I said, look, I want to make his tune, let's do it now. So that was a week ago. In the space of, in the space of a week, wrote the track, recorded it, shot the video, Got it to radio, got it in the top 40. That uh, was a Wheelstone Raider, uh, Gordon Hill. Forget the millions of YouTube hits, he could now be Christmas number one. And Gordon joins us now. Good morning to you. Morning. You alright? Yeah, you? Yeah, good. Harry Judd from McFly's rang up. He wants you to tell him he's got no fans, would you mind? He's got no fans anyway, I'm going to tell him. <laughs> Thank you. It's really nice to have you. What time did you get into London? About 10 minutes ago. Or have you got time for the rest of the day? I don't know. You're just, it's I, too I, much. Just, I just get pointed in that direction. Insane. I'm not a dog, but I just go woof woof. And uh, no, but a dog goes woof woof, I say dog no fan. <laughs> I've got good people with me. This man's been absolutely. He's been beyond the tour of duty, yeah. he's been brilliant. I know this is a good news, right? Geezer, from, Harry from McFly. Yeah. You know, obviously, he said the yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that. He... So I DM'd him. I said, are you based in London? Because we'll come down and see you. I'll do a video, put yeah, a single. Yeah. He said, yes, mate. We're filming for Tech Santa today down at ITV most of the day. That's where we're going. Them Hawks are playing well. Well, they've got more fans than you. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just come out of the talk sports studios, there's a kick of and some school kids and it's gone nuts. This is insane. It's like being with Jay-Z. It's fucking mad. Come on, Sam. Don't get fed up with this. No. No, no. How can you get fed up with this? Love you, people. Paul, we've ended the top five. Amazing. Top five? Yes. How's it feel to go top five? Brilliant. ITN uh, News are picking us up in a, in a car to take us to Wheelstone Stadium and we're going to do an interview there because at the end of the day he's a Wheelstone fan. 10k behind fourth. 10k behind fourth. It's amazing isn't it? We've got a radio interview with uh, BBC Radio Cumbria of all places. I want to 
take Simon Towell down, show him that people are behind me, that even if I don't get number one, he's going to have a fight in his hand. Do you still make time for yourself? At the moment, no. It's about making money for charity. I've got one chance to make as much money for charity as I possibly can. Once I've done that, I'll take a back seat, then I'll have my time. The charities that I'm doing it for is Great Ormond Street Hospital. Just for the first 15 years of my life, I was in Great Ormond Street Hospital. If it wouldn't be for Great Ormond Street Hospital, there'd be no Wilfstone Raider, there'd be no Jordan Hill. Autistic Tim Sam, which is a friend of mine, Northampton. He's got an autistic boy and we've done youth. Simon Cow's record apparently is for charity, but it's a percentage, 17%. Yeah. There's a legal requirement for charity that it can be called charity. Okay. If you give X amount of percentage of a profit, that's charity. That's so you can say it's for charity, yeah. Whereas this is 100% of the sales of this tune yeah. is going to the charity. Uh, David Gordon's just gone into four o'clock and it does not end. We've crossed the city once to go from Southwark to his club in Ryslip and now we're heading back to the city to Oxford Circles for more publicity. <laughs> We've been approached by uh, the management for McBusted. They were really keen to meet Gordon. And the guys are doing uh, a little mini video right as we speak to help promote the charity single and raise some more money. So it's fantastic. <laughs> 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 been keeping us entertained yeah. for the past like, month. Anything I've seen of it with me, he's just a super nice guy and we're just having a lot of fun and trying to, trying to do a good thing. He's not taking any of the money himself, which is amazing. I never thought in my life I'd meet people like you. When I say Wilstow, you say Raider. Wilstow, Raider! Wilstow, Raider! How's that? That was surreal. I don't believe it's happening. It's not happening to me, it's just something else. Well, what's going on now? Ali Pali. Ali Pali, what's going on now? Stop. Who will take us up there and no one's even watching it? They're watching the radar. What's been the most absurd moment? I got a very bizarre request from a former Wheelstone player. He's now a bit of a city boy, um, asked was it possible if Gordon could nip by for their Christmas party. There was only 20 people in the room. We were all asked to leave before the uh, maitre d' called the police. And I have to, I have to stress that it got nothing to do with Gordon Hill. It, just, uh, it was an event that just got completely out of hand. In spending time with Gordon, I started realising that beyond the mania surrounding him, there was also the story of a pretty special non-league football club. <laughs> What makes this club so different? To be our family. We, it's, not, it's not a football club to me, it's family. You hear Gordon talk of Wheelstone Football Club as his family. Uh, and not just his family, it's our family. The only way to describe Wheelstone or find out about Wheelstone is to talk to Wheelstone. It's not a cliche, we really are a family. We all know each other, we're all friends. It's the first time in a minute before you even have a drink. You're shaking each other's hand, oh, we're doing right, yeah, this, that, and the other. You don't get that in the Premier League. I don't even think you get it in a lot of non need football clubs. He's got a lot of people looking out for him. Um, hopefully that will stay the case. We look out for each other. No photos while we're having a pee. I did not tip that too big from my boots. And why is that? You see this shot? The minute I got too big from my boots, they took me on, they had to take my boots away and my legs. This is my family. This is why you can't talk to me. All I care about is Wilson FC. It's Wilson FC. All I care about is Wilson FC. The time I've spoken with you, I've seen that when times got a bit tough, when that those crowds just got a bit too. Big. You had your mates like Neil, your mates like Ray come up to you and say, do you want to get you out of this situation? Yeah. You didn't even need to ask. You've just described 
in your own personal words what you do for family. Yeah. So I don't have to say anymore, do I? He is absolutely giving all the time, and it's only other people like myself who are saying, uh, let's give him a little break. <laughs> This is Wolfstone, the football club, the family. Oh, I don't know any other football club that's got the love that we have for each other in this club. What's the future for Gordon, for Gordon Hill? Who knows? People might turn around and get bored of me. It happens, it's a fad. Yeah. So I might be used to it, man. I can still tell at Wolfstone, I'd just be a normal everyday person. You often wonder what it's like for people who are suddenly thrown into the limelight and as my time with Gordon went on, I started noticing the physical and emotional toll that it was having. I had no conception of the enormity of what I was taking on. It just went mental, mental, mental. I've been working 15, 16 hour days pretty much every day. Money for a bus, someone decided, oh, pop, we'll take the Wolfstone Road out. Knocked me out, had a bleed in the brain. There was in two minds where we didn't have to do brain surgery. Didn't they realise I didn't have a brain? Through December and the first week of January, we've had over 3,000 email inquiries. 3,000. If I go to the bathroom, I in have one of these nightclubs. In one of these nightclubs, I have to tell the bouncer about 10 minutes beforehand. I'm not used to all that. He's come to watch the game today, but he knows, that, like you say, part of the responsibility is with fame comes this problem. It would be nice for him just to be able to see it. Five minutes before the kickoff, you're standing for 20 minutes outside, just trying to get through the crowds, all trying to have a photo with this fellow. Well, have, uh, have a look. I'm trying to get to the bar and just setting off and have a look at the people out there waiting for me. If it's the second half and the Raider seems to have disappeared. It's been non-stop for weeks now, so I suppose at some point it gets too much, doesn't it? Everyone has a limit. They have to hide somewhere. I'd buy a cave in the middle of Scotland and hide in here. Are there days you wish it just never happened? Yeah. I want to be honest with you, a reaction I get from a lot of people when I say I'm working with you is that uh, he's just fame hungry, he's doing it for the fame. You, you, <laughs> is that what they think? I'll tell people, you what. Some people. I'll tell them, spend the day in my life Right? Just spend one day in my life. If I wanted to be famous, sure you'd have done this two years ago when you first came out. Yeah. I never wanted to be famous. I never wanted to be famous. And to people who want to be famous, what would you say? Be careful for what you wish for. If it comes to you, you don't know what you're dealing with. It can be scary. It can be scary. If you had your time again, I'd never went to that bloody football match. You get, you get friends out of funny situations, yeah, exactly. don't you? Who would have thought? And well, I like we are Mate, we are, for real. Listen, that's it. Yeah. I can sit there like... He, uh, He's doing a live performance at my wedding next year. He's <laughs> going to come in. You've got no vows. <laughs>